Hey everyone, it's Mary at Calumet Knits with a technique video. In this video, I'll show you how to do a basic cast on, how to make color changes, how to do a basic bind off. We'll review this basic tube and then we'll look at how to cast on and bind off with waste yarn. So let's get started with the basic cast on. So move your machine so that the number one needle, right here, this first one here, is popped up. This is our last needle. This is our first needle. So I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to leave about a six inch tail and I'm going to wrap it around that first needle. I'm going to advance it a little ways just so that the needle catches the yarn. So we'll go behind the next needle and in front of the following. Go behind, in front, behind, and in front. So we'll continue going behind every other needle and in front of every other needle until we get back to the beginning. Once we reach the beginning, we can go ahead. This is my last needle and the yarn will be behind it. This is my first needle, so I'm going to go ahead and place my yarn into the yarn guide and the needles, every needle is going to catch the yarn now. So go slower for the first couple of rows and then after that you can pick up speed and that's your basic cast on. To change colors, we're going to stop when our first needle pops up and I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn leaving about a six inch tail. And I'm just gonna lay it in the machine here. And you'll notice it's between the last needle and the first needle. Take my new yarn, I'll place it in that same spot, place it into the yarn guide. I'm gonna hold these two tails together. And again, you'll notice that both the tails are coming out in the same spot. I'm gonna take a few stitches and I'm gonna tie half a knot I'm going to make sure that it's really snug up underneath this red bar between stitches. So there's two ways of making the color change. This one I've done a half a knot. Now I've done a few rows and now I'm going to finish that knot simply by snugging up that um, space just a little bit, finishing the knot and then trimming those tails. Now here's a second way of doing it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change colors between the last needle and the first needle. I'm going to insert my new color, hold on to my tails, take a few stitches, and tie half a knot. And I'm going to leave it like this until it gets off the machine, and then I'll show you how to finish that knot. So once you've knit as many rows as you need, you can start your bind off. So again, I'm stopping between the last needle and the first needle. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm leaving about a 20 inch tail because we're going to use this to bind off. So I'm going to thread it onto my tapestry needle. We're going to crank just a little bit to allow this number one needle to sink into the machine. That is going to release this stitch, and now we can pick it up off of the machine. Just insert your needle into the stitch and then pull that tail through. Okay, now we can advance again one stitch and do the same thing. Pull your tail through. Insert your needle, pick up the stitch, and then pull your tail through. So I did two here at a time. Once you get uh, used to what you're doing, you can pick up multiple stitches at a time. You can see I'm only letting one needle fall. This is so I don't drop a stitch. But once you get going, you'll notice that um, you can pick up, you can advance the machine so that it releases more than one stitch at a time. So the caution here is not to um, let these stitches fall. So I'm going to place my thumb just to hold that stitch 
on the machine while I pull my tail through. So I'm going to advance a little bit bigger section here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hold that next stitch with my thumb so it doesn't fall off the machine before I can grab it with the needle. So as you become more advanced, you'll get used to picking up these stitches without them falling off the machine. And eventually you'll get to the point where you can just pick them up without even having to hold the next stitch down. So continue to pick up these stitches one at a time going all the way around to the end until you've picked up the last stitch. So let's look at this tube off the machine. So the first thing I do is stretch the material, the fabric. This is going to even out all of the stitches. And I'm just going to pull it lengthwise a few times and then I will pull it in the opposite direction. So this is our cast on edge. It's always going to look different than the bind off edge. Um, that's just because it's loose uh, when we first start on the machine. So you'll find this tail and you just pull it. And what this is going to do is just cinch this end closed. Now be careful when you're pulling not to pull too hard to break the yarn, but you will be able to pull this closed with just a small little hole at the top. And we can also do the same thing at the bottom. Just cinch it closed, kind of roll it so that all the stitches are on the outside. And that is a simple cinch closure. So let me show you how the color change looks. So remember we did two different ways. I did one on the machine and I did one kind of half on the machine. So that's this one here at the bottom. This one at the top is the first one I did where we tied a knot. So let's finish this bottom color change. I'm going to turn the tube inside out and I'm going to undo the half knot that we did while it was on the machine. Okay, now that the knot is, the half knot is undone, you can see I've got a little bit of a hole here and obviously it doesn't look good on this side. So what we're going to do to make this uh, join a little bit better is we're going to pull on these two tails a little bit. I'm going to pull the purple yarn to the right and the pink yarn I'm going to pull to the left. That is going to bring these two edges uh, closer together because when we knit in the round where we start and stop will be on different rows. So we're just trying to bring these two rows closer together to make uh, less obvious space there. So you can flip it around to the front, see if you like it. Uh, you could tug a little more on each one. When you're happy with how it looks, you can go ahead and tie a knot. And here's what it looks like from the outside. Now the join on the bottom is the one we just retied by pulling the two ends. This one on the top is the one I did on the machine. This is the one at the bottom here, which is what we just retied. So those are two different ways of changing colors. So here are some simple projects made using the cinched closure technique. So the purpose of waist yarn is to hold your live stitches so that you can do something with them later. So here I am using some waist yarn and I'm going to cast on exactly the same way as if I was doing a regular cast on. It's just I'm using some yarn that I know I'm going to take off later. So I'm going to knit a few rows and this is just going to be able to um, 
again, hold those live stitches until I can use them later on. So I'm going to stop between my last needle and my first needle, and I'm going to basically do a color change to my main yarn. Instead of tying a half knot like I would if I was using um, doing a color change, I'm not going to do the knot, I'm just going to let those tails fall. And then I can go ahead and knit however many rows I need for my project. Now to bind off, I'm going to cut my yarn, my working yarn, and I'm going to do kind of another color change. This time I'm changing over to my waist yarn and I'm going to knit a few rows. And then I'm going to leave about a 20 inch tail just like we would on a normal bind off and pick up all of the stitches. So here I have my tube and I have waist yarn on both sides. The purple is what I want to keep. I want to show you the stitches when you go to um, finish off your tube. These are the stitches you want to pick up. This would be your first row of your main color yarn. And if I flip this around, you'll notice that the stitches are the same. You can see that first row of purple yarn is the row that I will be using to finish off the tube. Here's some projects where waste yarn was used and then the edges were finished off. I hope you enjoyed the video. Linked below are some of the projects that were seen in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more circular knitting machine tutorials. Thanks for watching.